Hi, today is November 27th, 2024, and here are my poems for the day. The first one is poem number 1843 for the year, Ducks in a Row. I love it when I am able to get all my ducks in a row and have the month's book finished and ready to go on the last day of the month. It means I have to choose a photograph for the cover, which usually determines what the title will be, and then design the cover and write an introduction, and I've done those things already for this month's book. On Friday, I will probably format the book and do the copyright page. I always do something silly with the copyright page. Then on Saturday, the last day of the month, I will add that day's seven poems and upload the manuscript and wait. Sometimes the book is available on the same day I upload it, and sometimes it takes an extra day. That element is out of my control. I do what I can to get the book out on the last day of the month, but if it comes out on the first day of the following month, I can live with that. As long as I do my part promptly and get all my ducks in a row, then I can be somewhat satisfied with myself, at least until the next thing that I must do comes along. Poem number 1844, Haiku Are Easy, Part 9, Watermelon Skin, Existential Lasagna. The truth is out there. Poem number 1845. The Bullshit. She cut through the bullshit with a mind like a machete, but there were still bits of bullshit left on the blade. She wiped the bullshit off the blade with a mind like a dish towel, but then there was bullshit smeared on the towel. She washed the bullshit smeared dish towel with a mind like a washing machine, and now the towel is squeaky clean, and the bullshit is wherever shit goes once the laundry is done. She was satisfied. It was good to be done with that bullshit. And when the next load of bullshit is thrown her way, she would be ready for it. Poem number 1846, The Bag. By the time their first date was over, they were both convinced and half in the bag. They were so convinced, in fact, that they got all the way into the bag and spent the night there. They fucked in the bag, then fucked their way out of the bag, and then back into it again. And by sunrise, they were both still in the bag, and they were both in the tank for each other. And last poem today, poem number 1847, The Ontology of Existence. He was tired of his job at the waffle repair shop. It was barely more than minimum wage. He earned a 30% commission on all repairs, but nobody ever came into the shop for waffle repairs. Times were hard, so he took the job despite the meager remuneration. It was better than nothing. Although after taxes, it wasn't much better than nothing. And it was only sitting alone behind the desk waiting for customers who never came because nobody ever in the history of anything ever needed waffle repair services. He wondered why his job even existed. He wondered why he even existed. He, and he wondered why existence existed. And that last question led him to writing a paper led him to write a paper called The Ontology of Existence, which was accepted for publication in a rather prominent bi-monthly journal called Philosophy and Phenomenological Research. He was able to leverage that distinction and accepted a tenure-track philosophy professor position at Stanford. On his last day, they threw a going-away party for him at the waffle repair shop, and to his surprise, a part of him wanted to stay. All right, that's it. Thank you. I appreciate you.